Claire O'Neill, and I am the founder of Earthwise Aware, uh, EWA for short. Earthwise Aware is a young nature conservation organization, and we are focused on ecological and biodiversity knowledge, ethics, and leadership. And what that means is that we are dedicated to bring uh, this kind of knowledge at the heart of communities and in the daily lives of people. Uh, citizen science is essentially the participation of the public in uh, the process of uh, conducted scientific studies. So the kind of citizen science that we do is all focused on biodiversity. And what we try to do in the FELS is actually to have a natural history of the place. Natural history of the place is lacking for this uh, big part. Uh, the FELS is uh, part of the park system, uh, Massachusetts park system, which by the way, uh, combined with the Blue Hills and I think it's Beaver Brook Reservation is one of the largest park system in the world. So this is a beautiful area where we can really conduct climate and biodiversity type of study and citizen science. So, the, so essentially, we conduct here about six types of different kind of surveys. We do biodiversity survey, opportunistic survey, where we document biodiversity in the fells. Another one is about bird monitoring, which is counting birds for establishing bird population or bird abundance. We do arthropod survey or insect survey, uh, which really also encapsulate, you know, studying the pollinators in the fells. Um, we do plant community assessment, or we want to do because we haven't completed completely the protocol for that. And one that is very interesting as well is a vernal pool awareness and protection program. Uh, we have in the fells, this is kind of a hot spot for vernal pool, and a vernal pool is one of these pools that have a kind of a special hydrology where they go through a drought period uh, during the year or every other year, something like that. And what it really Da do is that it uh, prevents the pool from having population of fish establishing itself for themselves and therefore they are predation free from these fish and therefore they are fantastic you know breeding areas for salamanders and frogs, a certain kind of salamanders and frogs. So there are about 110 vernal pools and half of them have been certified which give them a specific status. So half of them have been certified Half of them are not certified. And when you look at the geographical map of the candidate pool, you can see that they are all interspaced uh, among the certified pools. So when we saw that, we thought that it was a fantastic opportunity uh, to really ra raise awareness about wetland and this specific type of habitat, uh, really coach people to understand more about the ecology of the place, right? Uh, as well as uh, we can document scientifically those pools and which is very important because 40% of amphibians are endangered, right? And we are really on alert right now to see if there is some fungus, some fungal, uh, fungal disease that could really land in the United States and in this portion of the United States, so we need surveillance. So the reason why we chose the FELS for our citizen science programs is twofold. One, as I said, is because there is no natural history of the place. There is data lacking with respect to the natural history of the place, so we want to uh, substantiate and give data about it. The second is because it's a fantastic set of habitat. Uh, the FELS is about 2,800 acres of woodland, and uh, it uh, is comprised of about 30 different kinds of habitats. So with that many habitats, we really can have a holistic view of citizen science and actually do all the kind of citizen science that we do at Earthwise Aware. So one other thing that is important and why we use a set the FELS, as well as other locations, but certainly the FELS, is because citizen science and this kind of habitats are really wonderful opportunities to reconnect people directly with nature and with the ecology of the place. Uh, understanding what ecology is about, the importance of this ecosystem, is in my opinion, and the opinion of uh, the Earthwise Aware people, the only way that can, we can really appreciate, understand, and protect the fells. It's really more than love, it's more about respecting, understanding. One of the big difference between the 1870s or 1890s and now is data, right? All the digital information. Um, another thing too is we are in a global world now. So uh, global data is important as well as global protocol in order to establish things that are comparable from state to state or countries to countries as well. So uh, this is a major difference. The difference is that now the world of naturalists has to be more global than what it was in the 1870s.